All right, welcome to lesson number six, manufacturer spending. A lot of you guys um, see the sign-in bonuses that these credit card companies offer, like Chase Sapphire, 60K in points after you spent 4K in the first three months. Some, a lot of you guys don't even spend uh, $4,000 within three months. So I'm gonna show you how to allocate the spend on the credit card, the $4,000 that they want you to spend, into gift cards that you can send back to the credit card company and have your balance zero and reap the benefits of the $500, 60K points of rewards. All right, so number one is to, when you open up a credit card, all right, within the first three months, they have that sign up bonus, 60K in points, which is equivalent to $500 in points or so, a little bit less, a little bit more, after spending 4K, well, your challenge is you don't spend 4K. Well, after you open up the credit card, what you need to do is go to CVS, Myers, the mall, even, or Walmart, okay, any store, and open up credit cards. I mean, Visa gift cards, okay? So, VSG Visa gift cards, VSGC are Visa gift cards that you can find on the wall. Um, they're usually in the front of the store, and you want to open them up. So you open up this small fee, maybe three to four dollars, to put five hundred dollars each on eight credit cards equals four thousand dollars. Okay. So after you open up a credit card, you use that same credit card to open up eight different Visa gift cards, preferably from Walmart or um, Myers if that's close to you, and you basically have four thousand dollars in Visa gift cards. Now number three. After you open the eight Visa gift cards, you go to bluebird.com, or you can do this before. You don't have to do it right after. If you want to save time, um, you go to bluebird.com or serve.com, which are basically Amex prepaid cards. They're not credit cards, they're not gift cards. I put the website up here, which is serve.com, okay? And all we gotta do is, S-E-R-V-E.com, you open up account. You fill out all your information, okay? And then you get the card, you know, it's at seven ten business days after it's done. And once you get your card, you want to go to the cashier and you want to upload money on your Bluebird or server account. So those are two cards, okay? So you give it to them. They type in a code of the cashier to prepare to upload the money. And then how you're going to upload the money is you're going to use those Visa gift cards. Don't tell the cashier that they're gift cards. They're actually legally called, uh, they're considered a debit card. So you upload, you know, all the money from your Visa gift cards, AKA debit cards when you talk to them onto the Serve and Bluebird account. Okay, now the money went from your Visa gift card to the Bluebird account. Now, when you're on Bluebird, all the money is there. Let's go back to Bluebird. And there should be, a, well, you don't have an account put up here, but uh, once you get to Bluebird, you have the option to pay a bill, okay? So you go to bill pay, you put in your credit card name, which is in this case, Sapphire, you know, and uh, Sapphire Preferred, uh, whatever credit card you have, Capital One, okay? Um, whatever credit card, it could be Freedom, Discover, Amex, Platinum, and you put in the biller, and then you pay directly from your serve and blue board account back to your credit card balance. And so now you have a zero balance from the 4000 that you spent plus the $500 um, bonus that they gave you. Okay? So you do this with every credit card that offers a sign on bonus, and then you don't have to worry about spending $4,000 or being negative $4,000 in the bank because what we're doing, we are going from credit card to Visa gift card to BB Bluebird, okay, back to the credit card and it gives you a zero balance plus a bonus. You do that, that's gonna save you money, you don't have to pay money out of pocket, It's using the money from the credit card issuer back to the credit card issuer in indirect ways, okay? Okay, so that's lesson number six, 
manufactured spending, go ahead and follow these steps and enjoy the knowledge of manufactured spending. And I will see you on the next lesson.